Hey everybody, it's Mark, Five Angels Outdoor, and we are going to be doing a modification to the Bronco. Uh, in this video, we are going to be installing our ditch lights, and uh, it'll be good to get them on. Uh, they've been sitting in the garage after I took them off the bison, but, uh, but yeah, let's see what the process entails here, uh, especially with the Bronco, because they really made it accessory ready, and uh, and one of those access ready access points is uh, where we'd be putting putting the ditch light. So let's take a look. Alrighty, so we can see right here. Yeah, we have the side mirror and how it's connected to the body. And right here is an accessory mounting point. So it even says accessory ready, just like all these other places on the Bronco. So. Um, now I could mount directly um, utilizing this bolt here, but what I'm going to do is um, I did get a ditch light bracket that'll help raise it up a little bit. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is the outside. And then what we're going to use since we have the auxiliary switches is we're going to utilize one of those wires. So let's take a look under the engine or under the hood. All right, so under the engine bay here, we are going to take advantage of um, some of the pre-wires uh, that Ford laid out for the auxiliary switches. So once we get those mounted and the, um, the actual wires, uh, wiring harness from the lights, we'll run that down and come along here. And uh, we got a couple of spots for grounds. We got our wires. We'll pick one of the switches on the inside and get it all connected. So it should be pretty straightforward. Alrighty. So we have here is we have these two bolts. Um, we are going to, one's a T30, one's a T25. We are going to undo both of these bolts. What we'll do is we'll lift up this section here because this is where we'll be able to thread the, um, uh, the wiring from the light uh, down into the engine bay. Um, so yeah, let's undo those. Let's lift this one up and go from there. That's a pretty, pretty long bolt. One down. This piece should pop up pretty uh, easily. Yeah. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And right, you won't be able to see it, but there's a slot right in this back corner where my finger is that will allow um, the pass through of the wire. So let's get the light. You can see. So this is going to go like this. So I am going to take this, get it down in there. thread this down in the hole for now just to hold it just to hold it stationary I'm not I don't have the light tightened yet or position so 
We'll get that going soon enough. Once. Alrighty, we are in the engine bay now. So what we're going to do is we have the two, basically we have the wiring harness. Um, we're going to connect this wiring harness to the wires that we threaded through here. So basically I have have one wire here and just thread it on all right that's connected <clears throat> And we'll go to the other side over here because I just repeated the same steps I did um, on the driver's side over here to the passenger. So we have a connector over here, and this is a little bit of a bare to reach. These Baja design lights don't seem to have too much of a runway as far as a plug goes but it looks like we got enough room to get them all connected now so let's get these in So now basically what we need to do is obviously we have this wires running free this one what I'll probably do is tie it up but the main thing will be is that really this was the joining piece so we have a black and a white wire so a ground and power because the um, the lights um, the pre wires are here it'll be pretty pretty easy uh, to get this stuff so probably what I'll end up having to do is cut down this wiring harness and then we'll get a couple connectors on the end and be able to connect them up pretty easy so yeah i mean that's that's pretty pretty easy pretty it let's go from there so looking it up it looks like i want to i'm deciding i'm going to hook this up to auxiliary auxiliary four switch the auxiliary four switch in the um cabin is this brown wire so what i'm going to do is i'll uh I'll cut this wire, I'll get a nice um, end on it. I'm going to cut down this wire to expose just a short version of the power and the ground and get a connector onto that. So what I'll do is I'll connect the power to the brown wire there and I'll collect the ground. I'll put a little loop on it and I think I'll just connect it here to this ground point. So we should be good. That should get us going. Let's see how we do. So, so we got the wires connected. We're gonna finish, I'm gonna do, I gotta finish some heat shrinking here. I'm gonna heat shrink this connector and then down here, but our power's connected to our brown. The ground is running up to right here at this ground point. So it looks like we're in business. I'm gonna get this uh, heat shrunk up, maybe a couple, add a couple more zip ties and then we're good to go. Here we go. We have ditch lights. Baja Designs Squadron Pros have the wide, wide cornering, so some spots, some diffused. So this should spread out the light. Looking good. And they are all hooked up to auxiliary switch four on the interior. All right, so that install was relatively straightforward obviously i had the lights and everything from my the bison the previous vehicle so i took those off that but having the pre-wires um, really worked out nicely i didn't have to worry about 
uh, all the additional wiring or whatnot and, and the switches are built in right there. So we'll give them a test out later on, but this is uh, first step is getting these, uh, getting these on and slowly I'm gonna be chipping away at the stone with uh, installs onto this vehicle. But thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and uh, we'll bring you some more content. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.